Hi, I'm Diane Weiskarper, Senior Level Management here at Hawkstone. And this beautiful lake we have here, it's a natural rock. We are the East. So obviously, the means in which uh, the members of the East do things aren't exactly the best way to go about things, but, but they do have good intentions in their hearts, so you know, they do a bad thing for a good reason. So I was wondering, what's the worst thing you've had to do to get a part or to get a movie? <laughs> what, what is your bad thing for a good reason? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a good question. <laughs> what have I done that was bad to get a part? I mean, I guess I've... I have pretty aggressively chased things. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing bad, but maybe like stole someone's email, you know? Really? Got an email in a sort of nefarious <laughs> way and then wrote a letter being like, you need to have me play this part, you don't know it yet. <laughs> That never exactly works out, so the ends did maybe did not just who, who did you steal my email from? <laughs> <laughs> from your brother. Wow, anything, uh, any, any, any dark secrets out there to... Uh... Not, not yet, not okay. yet. Okay, just but, wait. But, uh, yeah, but you know, someone asked us the other day, uh, is it worse to do uh, the right thing for the wrong reasons or the wrong thing for the right reason? And I think I am a wrong thing for the right reasons guy, so if... If the if the way you go about doing something isn't isn't uh, something you can s feel good about morally, I don't care about the end result. So that's how I feel. Interesting. Personally, in my own life. We don't care how rich you are. We want all those who are guilty to experience the terror of their crime. If the East were real, if they were out there today and they were working, they were coming up with their plans. Who out there, which CEO or which uh, corporate exec, do you think? should be most worried? Like, who do you think would be number one on their list right now? I think the banks. I right think now? the banks should be shaking in their boots if the East was real. I think it's true, yeah. We were, we were talking the other day about how it's gotten to a place in which, like, the banks misbehave, you know, but the worst that happens is they get, like, a fine, a very large fine. Right. One that they could pay within a week. So exactly. It's like a little slap on the wrist, and then you can't really jail the bankers anymore because if you did the economy would collapse. So that's right. a weird place to be in in which nobody can really be held accountable for their actions. In, in, in a way, do we need the East? Like, do you, th you know, like as much as we're kind of joking about it, like, could, are there benefits out there, like, if they were actually... I don't religion? know if I believe in eye for an eye justice, but I have to say that the image of seeing some, a banker and his wife uh, having their house foreclosed and then being evicted by the police would be a very refreshing image compared to seeing all these poor people who, you know, see, I saw a grandmother getting kicked out of her house forcibly by the police. I just think that's so wrong. Right. Like, a poor grandmother, like, what kind of country do we live in in which she gets evicted from her house? Right. You know, let's let some of these bankers get evicted from their right. house. <laughs> right. It's easy when it's not your life. Easy when it's not your home. But when it's your fault, it shouldn't be so easy to sleep at night. Especially when we know where you live. The conversation about uh, how society is affected by movies has been going on for years and will continue to go on for years. But is there ever a moment when you're on set and you're making this movie that the thought crosses your mind of like, what if someone sees this movie and thinks like, hey, this is a good idea, like I want to do that. Has that ever been a moment where you're like, don't take it too seriously? I mean, I think that like, What's interesting about the East is they're not actually, they, they think very carefully about what they're doing and they're trying to create culture jams, which means like they have to pull off, you know, an image or an idea that sort of turns culture on itself. They're not actually that violent. I mean, they're, right. so they're certainly doing things that I personally don't <laughs> agree with or would not do. Um, but, but the way they're going about it is actually quite thoughtful. Um, I think there are a lot of other films in which the thrillers in which the antagonism <laughs> involves a lot more violence exactly. than this movie. Right. You know, this movie, there's like two guns, one gunshot, one person is killed. You know, it's rare now to watch a thriller in which you're on the edge of your seat the enti entire time, but it's because it's all new and mysterious and not because you're sort of being desensitized with violence, wouldn't right. you say? Yeah, completely. And I think that what you said about emotional culture jams is exactly right. So, for example, the movie begins, and I think you can see it in one of the trailers, the movie begins with an oil spill at the CEO of an oil company's house. Right. An amazing and, scene, by the way. Thanks. And it's about taking 
something, an oil spill is so far from the person who's responsible for that company. So I think the East is about accountability more than anything else. Right. It's more about accountability than terror. So it's about bringing that oil spill to his house and, and putting that video on YouTube and the emotions that, that evokes or the... Um, and the, and the, the sort of excitement people feel about, yeah, we all felt frustrated by the BP oil spill. Mm -hmm. It was handled badly. It wasn't cleaned up properly. Like, wouldn't it be a nice feeling if somebody right. really exactly. held the people responsible for that accountable with more than a fine? Lie to us, we'll lie to you. Spy on us, we'll spy on you. Poison us, we'll poison you. Now, obviously, you guys have been having a, a great kind of grassroots tour for this movie, hitting up the different film festivals in different cities, and you get to do something most directors and actors don't get to do, which is kind of get that feedback from the audience. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering, what is the most interesting reaction you've gotten from someone on the tour so far? That's a great question. That is yeah. a great question. We've had so much fun with this movie. Usually on these kind of tours, you start having the same conversation every day because people have similar questions, mm -hmm. either at the Q&A or in press. And so far, uh, knock on wood, we've never had the same conversation twice. Good, that makes me feel good. Including this one. And, and I guess moments that have struck with me, and I'm curious to see what moment yeah, struck with you. For me, it was in Philadelphia, we had multiple young people, like 13, 14 year olds, bring their parents, or their parents brought their kids. I couldn't tell which is which, but we had multiple groups like that, families, you know, like a, a mother and her son, or a father and his son. And then they were asking us questions in tandem. And you could see that uh, it was a cross-generational conversation. That's and I, awesome. Yeah, that got me really excited. I was like, you know, that's what's cool about this movie being PG-13 and yet it being about ideas that aren't normally in movies right. or in popular movies. So that was really, I don't know. That was an amazing moment. I, I, it's, it's true. I mean, even just the conversations that we have with journalists have been so insightful. Like the, the things that people are finding in the movie is fascinating. Somebody brought up the, this idea that you know had that Sarah began in the FBI, and so she was doing something that was law enforcement, which is connected to ethics and morality. But now in this space of corporate espionage, you're not law enforcement. Right. You know what you're really beholden to is is making more money the next quarter than you did the quarter before. Right. And so that's a very new space, yeah. you know, a little in gray which, area. A little, little gray bit. area yeah. to be operating in with Sarah's set of skills. And so it's it's a, it's an exciting movie to talk about. People Absolutely. Find things and I could it. talk with you guys all day. Seriously, it's an honor to sit across from you. So oh, if you come to Houston, I have a very comfortable fold out couch. Oh gosh, so it's, it's thank over you. To you. So take care, guys. Have thank a good day. you so much. It was really nice. We will counterattack three corporations in the next six months for their worldwide terrorism. And this is just the beginning.